And the historic change in relations between Cuba and the United States could not be possible without the Pope's help. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy details the thaw between the two nations. The White House released this picture today of President Obama on the phone with Cuban leader Raul Castro. The call came as the Treasury Department released the details of the sweeping changes between the U.S. and Cuba set to take effect on Monday. Among those changes, there will no longer be any limits on the amount of money Cuban Americans can send to their relatives in Cuba. American businesses can have a greater presence on the island by opening offices and storefronts, and U.S. Internet and phone companies will be allowed to negotiate directly with the Cuban government. American cruise ships will now be free to dock in Havana. Americans will be allowed to maintain bank accounts in Cuba, and more Americans will be permitted to travel to Cuba for humanitarian projects and professional research. Congresswoman Ileana ross Layton had this reaction when we spoke to her today. I would tell those U.S. businesses to be very careful because there's not an entity or country or person to whom the Castro regime does not owe millions of dollars. I'm Jim DeFeedy, CBS 4 News tonight. And don't forget, CBS4 anchor Rick Folbaum is in Havana right now. Look for his live reports for the duration of the Pope's visit to the island.